Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I'm going to let you guys hear something. And then I'm going to come back with the commentary. And then I'm going to let you guys talk about it in basically the comment section. Because I need to break this down to you guys. How certain people don't understand certain things. And how you have a lot of these dudes that get on the internet and put up felonious and uh misinformative um and fake notions about a situation and what transpired when they clearly don't have an understanding of what's going on but check this out take a gun in a rack check him out i said look at gun now in case you guys don't know what that is that was uh the bodyguard or the security of rapper gunna and we all know what gunna is linked to you know the situation with um young thug and the Rico case and the racketeer and stuff. So, you know, Gunner has been labeled a rat and people been calling him all type of names. So, you know, Gunner kind of went into hiding for a couple of months, but now he's starting to make appearances in public and rightfully so due to the fact that people think Gunner is a rat. You know, people say stuff to him and call him a rat and a snitch and all that kind of stuff. But this particular incident, of course, you have what you would call a clout chaser or a guy looking for a little bit of attention. But I'm going to explain to you how Gunner's security was completely wrong and Gunner should consider uh, replacing him. Basically, the dude, in case you couldn't hear, in case the audio was bad, he basically was saying, look at Gunner, Gunner a rat. So the security walks up to him talking about what was that? What did you say? Uh, could you repeat that? And then basically dude said, you heard what I said. He said, well, say it again. And then dude was basically like, yeah, go ahead and put your hands on me. So basically I can sue you. And then he ends the quick conversation or confrontation by saying, I don't give a fuck. Wrong thing to say. First of all, Gunner security let him down by even going over there confronting the dude. I did security and light bodyguard services. First of all, you are always supposed to be on defense, which means you don't go over there and initiate anything. Your objective is to protect the client and Gunner is the client. And as security, you don't go over there and walk up to somebody just because they said something. So do basically fail Gunner by showing how easily distracted he was. What if it was a setup? More, what if it was more than one person? Basically due to the fact that this dude is distracted arguing with a dude that called them a rat. Well, basically some dudes can come from somewhere else and then basically they could possibly do something to Gunner. You are never supposed to confront somebody just because they said something. He should have kept it pushing. And he should have kept moving. But he basically stopped what he was doing to go over there and ask the dude, what did he say? Not, not a good look at all. Easily distracted. And if I was Gunner, I would fire that dude probably as soon as we get to the destination. I would call, if he came from an agency, I would call the agency and say, uh, don't send this guy back. Or I would let him go because he failed Gunner. You are never supposed to engage with people under no circumstances. And if anything would have happened, he would have he would have put Gunner in a position to get sued because he went over there and initiated the confrontation. It wasn't dude was clear out the way. Of course, yeah, dude was filming. He was looking for some notoriety and the dude confronted him. He got embarrassed a little bit, but at the same time, he didn't move. And for people saying he got checked, well, you could look at it this way. He might have been trying to set him up. And he said, you heard what I said. Basically, I don't have to say it again. And then for the dude to say that he don't give a damn that Gunner could be sued. Wrong thing to say. 
very unprofessional. See, I like to break these type of things down because at the end of the day, you guys like, you know, um, basically nut hugging and and jumping on somebody's, you know, sack. Gunner security failed him miserably and he should be fired because all it takes is one incident. You are never supposed to go confront somebody. Now, if somebody was coming towards Gunner, walking up to Gunner, he would have been well within his right to react. But for him to go initiate something and then say he don't care, now people that are going to see this video and they may purposely try it with this dude to get him to do something to react so they can sue Gunner. So dude didn't do his job. He didn't. So for the people that's sitting up here talking about dude got pressed, he got checked because at the end of the day, he won because he he distracted Gunner security with ease. Which could have put Gunner in a position for harm to come his way. So at the end of the day, the dude that filmed himself, you know, calling Gunner a rat, technically he won because he proved how easy it is to distract Gunner security to where possibly you could make a move on Gunner. And now everybody saw it. So that's all I have to say about that. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.